Today in art class, we're gonna be drawing the super fun character from Wish Tree, Bongo the Crow. I know we've just kind of started reading the story in chapter eight. We kind of see how Bongo likes to collect some things. So I thought it would be fun to paint a picture of Bongo. Think about where you might put her. Um, is she collecting something out in the world? Is she in her treasure trove in the tree with all her stuff? Is she delivering something somewhere? Is she finding something somewhere? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our sketchbooks and we're going to quickly sketch a few ideas for what we think our painting could be. Then once we've got our idea for our painting, we're going to get a larger piece of paper and go ahead and sketch it out lightly with pencil. I'm gonna do three super speedy sketches. These are not careful sketches, guys. A sketch is just a very quick drawing that just gives an idea. So one idea could be to actually draw a close-up of the tree and put the bird um, in the tree with an object. Uh, probably, probably she wouldn't collect a flower. I don't know. Okay, but that's fine. That's one idea. Now, another idea could be I'm actually in her hidey hole here, a more close-up version where maybe I'm just seeing the corners of the tree and back here I'm seeing the back of the of her hollow and I'm seeing, I'm just gonna put just, I'll think of what to do here later, but I'm just gonna um, put some shapes there to represent stuff she's found and then maybe here she is adding something new. So that's two ideas. Now, a third idea might be, oh, she spots something down on the ground that is uh, super shiny. And I'm gonna try to make it look like she's gonna fly down and get that. One last idea um, is maybe I wanna actually get the tree more in the picture. And so maybe for this one, I just want to show um, Bongo in the tree talking to the tree. I'm going to get my big piece of paper. I'm going to put my name on the back, kind of small like this. And then I'm going to, I can turn my paper up and down side to side. And I'm going to decide which one I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go for this one, but I think I'm going to change my object. I'm going to start sketching that out lightly with pencil. And then I will be ready to paint the next class. Here's the start of my crow. I'm gonna put a surprise object in her mouth that we haven't quite read about yet um, that she's got. So I did even change it a little bit from my sketch and I just have to kind of figure out what's gonna be in the background and then I'll be ready to get started. Now I'm going to try painting it in a more impressionist type style. Basically what I'm going to do is try to not just use black, but to use some other colors. So one way I could do that, well between colors make sure and give Mr. Brush a nice relaxing bath. Kind of try to dry that off a little bit. So I'm going to double load my brush and I've got part in purple and part in black because you know sometimes black can have some purple or blue type shadows in it or highlights. Fun fact about impressionist artists, they didn't actually use black. They would use a lot of other colors to mix black but since we are beginners we're gonna go ahead and use black. Let's see how this goes.
Okay, so I'm done with my impressionist painting of a crow, and I'm gonna take Miss Bongo over to the drawing mat and slide her in, carry it flat like a pizza, and then you can wash your hands in one of the side sinks and wipe your table.